hi everyone welcome again to our natural year in series today we're going to south africa where we're going to meet the fabulous Earl curls natural she shows us that you can go from short hair to long fabulous hair and it doesn't matter where you're from this multi-talented natural does a lot of research when it comes to our natural hair trying different techniques and sharing it with the general public so stay tuned and hear what she has to say so finally I get to do a collab with Discovering Natural. I have been watching her for days. Okay, so this is perfect. I'm so excited. So the first question says, where do you live? I live in South Africa. Second question, how long have you been natural? I've been 36 months post my relaxer and I've been loving it ever since. What is your first challenge or your number one challenge when it comes to being natural? I would have to say low density. Let's keep it to low density. I don't want to be complaining or anything because I feel like I'm really at that point in my life where I have accepted my hair as it is. It's unique. It's beautiful. It has its ups and downs and I appreciate everything. How did people slash family react to you returning to natural? My mom was not very supportive at first, but now it's like, OMG. Actually, it started as, OMG, your hair is beautiful, when I first did my mini twist. That's when my mom went loca. She loves mini twists. It's like her go-to hairstyle, if she could, every single day, just to have mini twists. So, for her to see that I could achieve mini twists on natural hair, have it look just as good as extensions, apparently she has never done it on her own natural hair. She's always done it using her relaxed hair or extensions. So it was really, really amazing for her to see it on me. The majority of family were not really into that. A few years down the line, here we are, and they probably regret everything they said. How do you wear your hair? I wear it in wash and go. Love, love, love my flat twist. I love my buns. Where do you find your products? I make my own products. I've been using my own products from seventh month post my relaxer. Ever since, it's just been my own products. And I've been selling it online. People have been loving it. Thank you so much. For your support. Do you feel it's hard to be natural where you live? No. I think at first it was just a, a matter of people who knew me personally for them to get used to me being natural. You know, they were so used to that slick look and whatever they called it. And then all of a sudden I had this TWA, my hair was super dry. <laughs> Let's not go there. Number one advice to someone who is natural or thinking of returning to natural where you live. Be open-minded. Try any product. Whether it says it's for white people or you think it's for white people. Clearly it's not even written on the bottle but you're just assuming because of the way it's placed in shops. Girl, forget it, okay? Unless that product, once you grab it, it starts talking to you that, girl, you're black. Don't drop it. Just take it, go with it. You've checked the ingredients. It's exactly what you're looking for. Take and go. Just keep running. Well, pay for it, but just, you get what I mean. Don't look back. Also, all of us ladies in South Africa that have product range, etc., for natural hair, are online we don't necessarily have things in the stores so please if you don't mind make time to buy things online there are plenty of stores online you can check some of my videos out to see all the other hair products in South Africa that are online where can we find you you can find me on my blog there's all info you might be looking for about me, Facebook page, Instagram, everything is on there. Or you just go to my YouTube channel, everything is on there. So that's it. I am so happy to be doing this collab. And thank you so much Discovery Natural for doing this. I'm ecstatic, I'm happy and hope we do more collabs together. Thank you so much.